Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Oops. Um. How are the enemy's numbers? What the hell is happening here? Um, last time we had a whole bunch of good times in the desert. No, please, don't do this. I want to avoid exposing my, like, ultra weak tank butthole to my enemy, if that's alright with you, video game. No matter the cost. All right, another thousand health on the docket. Thank you. And then we'll go back to cover. Works for me. Um, so what needs to happen this turn? Last time, I really feel like I'm, I'm ready to go. Fucking it up like that. That was so stupid. Uh, last time, I I was like, I better wait until I claim this base before calling a bunch of reinforcements, and then I slipped my mind and called a bunch of reinforcements. Sit tight. Help's almost there. It's in your hands, Blondie. Did she call her Blondie? That's Infantry, funny. Now, I actually... Yeah, let's retreat. And if we need a scout, we'll call in Alicia, right? No? Not gonna work? That's okay. Well, what we do need is more anti-tank. Alright. The next phase is gonna be just an onslaught of tanks. Oh, God! Yeah, I count three tanks, and what's more, all of those guys. Snipping. Oh, shit. He's gonna sh aim for... Rosie? Okay. I would have thought he would have aimed for Edie. Go right back in. Get closer and shoot again, huh? Is this your plan? Because Rosie took the first shot, no problem. Like, it was 105 damage, to be certain. But it's not that huge of a deal. Minor damage sustained. Yeah, see? There we go. Um, yeah, I want to get the Edelweiss over there, but I'm having a lot of trouble getting the fucking tank up this Minor hill. Damage sustained. I don't know what it wants from me. I see no engineers over there, fortunately. Reinforcements have arrived. Awesome. Love to see it. Entering combat. Return fire. Can we please get around here? We've got another cut. Okay. Okay. Looks like the wind's really picking up. Okay. I suspect it's a sandstorm, Welks. Oh. These badlands are infamous for sandstorms. Bad enough. Metal Gear to Solid Five boys now. Zero. I see. That'll make it tougher to spot the enemy until the storm blows over. Yes, but the same applies to the enemy. Mm -hmm. Now is our chance yeah, to advance the rules. undetected. Hiding within the sandstorm is a valid tactic when. Pro I feel like tanks are going to be pretty spotable still, on account of you know, tank. Now, the smart thing to do is to take care of this right here, right now. But then again, he can't return fire. Ooh, treads out. Clean living. Okay, I see a mine there, so we should bear that in mind. <laughs> there goes your guy. That's what you get. It is what you get. Snipers, huh? All right. Might be dangerous to leave her there, but I'll risk it. For now. For now. Um. Nadine has to move up, fix the tank. I have to leave her in that trench. Oops.
Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I might be able to leave her in this trench, just to have her a little closer. And then we gotta start moving our guys up. Our big anti-tanks. Every girl's tank crazy about an anti-tank man. Thank you for hitting the tank, Largo. That thing is not looking hot, <laughs> I gotta say. Tank's not hot. Okay, um. Come back in, Alicia. Let's get you in. We haven't tried, we haven't done much with you. Sure. Four. All right, and then Jan's gotta move up here. Totally blew it. Open fire. I feel like, because what's gonna what's gonna shoot at her? People might avoid hitting her. There's four tanks. Goddamn. People might avoid hitting her in the name of hitting the tank. But on the other hand, it might be good to get Rosie up. Let's do this. This place is a dust trap. Hmm. I wonder if it might be good to get her out of here. Oh. Let's hope. Let's hope. Because if I have to restart from here in phase six, yowza. Reinforcements have arrived. Requesting more reinforcements. One tank is moving around somewhere in the darkness. Please don't shoot my girls. Minor damage sustained. Okay, that's what I wanted to have. Because the tank can handle it. I want the tank to, to get shot more than Under minor fire. Uh, more than Edie. And then Edie can keep her position and keep moving up and keep going in. Because I want her to, to close distance and then, like, essentially just put a shotgun at the base of someone's neck. And just Underminer fire. Fan that hammer, cowboy. Um, yeah, because they're moving a lot of tanks now, they, they're getting less moves overall. Reinforcements are here. Okay, so I kind of primarily wanted Alicia moved up just because she would be able to, like, shoot. Now. Another one down. Man and down, I need to get this thing across this hill then, don't I? Try to keep a grasp on your that could be trouble. Park it there. Taking the stage. I want you to scoot up. There's the mine. Get ready. Okay. Turn fire. We lit. Cool. Love it. I'm gonna go back in as her, but we need to get Nadine up. And I wanted other people, I wanted people to be looking at not Nadine. Whoops, that could have been dangerous. Cool. Thank you. Report, what is the enemy up to there? Uh-oh. That's all right. Been waiting here. Let's uh, slot you down next to the Edelweiss and see if we can't get some help on shooting this thing. We can't. Why? 
What if we're closer? Cool. At the very least, we got that. Starting the damage. Ugh. I had to leave him out in the open. Roger. Oh, God. Does she have a little... Wow, that is a tiny Lancer. Pull me closer, tiny Lancer. That's a good joke. Don't bet up on the offense. It's actually too far away to attack. Fire! Ooh, turns out. So that one's going to stay where it is. Which also means that we can try to position the uh, Edelweiss around that. I'm on. Okay, so I want to get Rosie up and have her shoot some, some more amps. 82. Go to hell. I'll take it just to whittle of his health more. Rosie's lack of movement is a liability, to say the least. I got it! Okay. Go ready. Get ready. Okay, he's down. Oh, and that's a command point down too. Cool. That's what you get! Okay. Edie might be able to get her health regenerated. See, the enemy camp. I really thought the enemy camp would have been bigger than this. It's kind of pathetic. It's just some sandbags in the desert. Like, what are you going to do with a sandbag in a desert? It's. The sand is here already. I'm on. I don't know what to tell you about this. See, someone lamented that, like, you can't really flank in this game. And that, like, are you in cover? Okay, you're in cover. And that's the end of it. They thought that was kind of lame, because, like, I should I should be getting normal damage on that guy, but I'm just not because of the way that this game works. Hmm. We could move up Jan. And Largo's already taken his turn. Yeah. So I think Jan is You got it, Han! Hmm. Took that pretty well. Foot soldiers, move out. Let's get you up, soldier. These trenches are really, really annoying for like tank movement. All right. Hopefully this works out. Don't want to start again from this phase because yowza. Reinforcements are back. Posting reinforcements. Minimal. Did it need to expose its tankly weak point to me? Because, like, uh, dude, I, you need that, right? I was led to believe that that's the case. This tank's doing some donuts. This is a, like, really, really interesting game. Like, I'm just thinking about how, like, wow, they really animated that, like, little tank, the way that it stops Under right there. Fire. And it stops, like, Ooh. they really animated it well. And it was, like, I was just thinking how interesting it is, because like this game does not really have a physics engine. <sighs> Sucker. Uh, yeah, this game doesn't really have a physics engine. It's just... Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. I want you to go play Surgeon. Shotgun. Enemy sighted! What? That's not... I can't! No! What's your situation? <laughs> awesome, love to see That's it. That's what you get! Target silent. Head for the next one. Okay, now I wanna get Rosie caught up over here. I'm on. Let's go. Cause I want her to be able to um hopefully like help satiate the panic. Penetrating enemy line. Yes. Help me out with this. That's what I want. Clean lift. Target 
and then Leander Turner's Rosie. Come on. And then we go right back in. After me, kiddos. Yeah. Love to see it. Here I come. Every single shot would have to hit. But she can take the hits. And then Edie can tag in. I got it! I feel very, very confident in saying we'll both be able to kill if both of us are machine gunning this guy. Get ready! They tell me in. Yes. Perfect. And then we claim the base, right? That's what you get! Yes. Man down, everybody be careful. Occupied enemy camp. And that's the operation. Sandstorms, huh? Operation that's interesting. Complete. We took All right. D rank as usual. New episode, naturally. Uh, yeah, let me save that. Where are my saves? One moment, let me just... Okay, that was scary. Um, I just loaded back in and it didn't have any of my, like I just checked and it didn't have my saves and I was like, oh God, oh God, oh God. So I closed out of the game and I came back in and it has, and it has this save. So it just didn't have my other ones for some reason. I, I don't know why, but. <laughs> scary, scary to say the least. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I said that I would do this off screen. So, this has story content, so I'm coming hey, back in. Dropping by to read the writing on the wall? Yeah, these are new. Um, oh, by the way, I learned that the maximum level is 20, I believe. Lucky Sevens cut off supply base. Uh, the, mil the malicious 3rd Regiment, partner in our ongoing war correspondence, was successful in seizing the Empire Supply Base in Cloden Wildwood, despite interference from Empire Ace General Rady Jaeger. Roddy, possibly? Good name. Um, also, they use the term Ace in gameplay as well. This new victory, coming off the hills of their vassal win last month, that pushed the invasion back to Central Gallia, has all Rangree singing their praises. Losing the Cloden base was no doubt a severe blow to the Imperial force, looking to regain some of that lost ground, which is good news to Galleons everywhere. It's anyone's guess where the militia will crop up next, but their efforts may so far make one thing clear. These men and women mean business. Uh, the government issued a second wave of drafts among Galleons for the militia on the 8th. Expected since the Empire's formal declaration of war last month, this draft was likely made inevitable by the recent series of losses in the East and North. North. The draft will target males aged 30 to 45, selected on qualifications and their impact upon Galia's normal function. The militia is also accepting volunteers from those not included in the second draft, but many worry about the economic strain that the further losses to the commerce and industry sector may impose. Cool. Da, 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 da. I've got new material. So this is just Squad 7, and this is our protagonist. <laughs> Thanks a million. Cool. Come back and see the right. Um, so I also just like spent all of my XP on leveling up my guys cuz like I don't use orders that much and it hasn't well really gone that well for me. Um Oh, cool. That's worth it. Okay. Ah, oh, too shy. Uh, 
Is this really the best that we can get? Like, I feel weak because, like, you, bro. It's done. as far as I know, I'm not even, like, halfway through the levels, and there's not that many levels. All right, but we can put some more um, motor upgrade drive system. Sight upgrade. That's useful. Plus seven accuracy. And this adds defense to my treads as opposed to... Cool. This one we can probably take out just because we don't use the... Like, we're normally pretty good with using one and then going on. Uh, but yeah. Let's head back to book mode. Alright, I feel good. Very, very happy that I didn't have to redo that battle again. Alright, let's do this episode then. Looks like they just laid huh? a blanket on top of it. What's this supposed to be anyway? It's a, what a weird it's a building, dude. I don't know what like to tell this. you. There you all are. Hey there, Faldio. I didn't know you were out here too. I'm an archaeology major, remember? I was ordered to observe the ruins' interior. The shape of it really Let me is unusual. Crank their audio. I've never seen anything like it. A little better. I feel like I've seen it before somewhere. Hmm. Where could it have been? This building was supposedly erected millennia ago by the Valkyrer themselves. So Valkyrer is a people. So they actually existed then? Uh-huh. Yes. The Valkyrer make a sudden appearance in European history thousands of years ago. Records say they brought with them incredibly advanced technology and divine might. Are those going to turn out to be the... Then one day... The ancestors of the Darkson? The Bakurer just disappeared. I always thought they were just a myth. That's it. I remember now. He claps his hands. It's cute. Remember what, Welkin? What are you shouting about? The Dread Nautilus. This structure looks <laughs> just like a Dread Nautilus. A Dread... Nautilus? Presumably a dreadnought like the warship and a nautilus like the sea snail. You don't know? They're marine cephalopods. They live inside pointy spiral shells. Bingo. And these ruins look just like that shell. I wonder if there's some connection there. You know, if all of my guesses about where this game is going turn out to be wrong, I will be okay with that. That's fine. Welkin, you can be such a... Hmm? What's up? Nothing. Forget it. Right. Let's take a look inside then. We may find some clue to why the Empire is out here. Alicia, I want you to come help Faldio and me look around inside. Largo, Rosie, and Isara, you stay here. Be on the lookout <laughs> yes. for movement in the area. Please, leave the minority race and the racists against that minority race together. All right, sir. Please be careful. I... I wouldn't trust them like that, personally. Welcome surprised me in the past, but... Mm. Visitors at the temple. Let's go back in. I kind of like this, because it lets you save frequently between your, your cutscenes, and like... Tell me, Silvaria, do these walls offer an answer to our search? The... the... Like, first person singular royal plural pronoun is so funny. Capital I, like, oh man. That's so perfect. It tells you so much about this character that, like, he uses the royal we and capitalizes it. Like, oh my god. Character established. That's so smart. It's brilliant. I pray. What the hell? The ancient power? Are we getting into real magic, guys? What do you read, child? Valkov, the Holy Lance, the, the Holy Lance, like the Lance of Longinus. In the bosom of
So I really wanted to fix this. The Holy Land Scorcher of the Vast Earth. Keepers keep, kept there by for eon without end. Does she have like psychometry? True, the sacred lance lies buried within Ron Grease's walls. But your grace, how do you intend to control the lance once it is found? Uh. <laughs> Worry not. A beast A fit beast to bear that to bear that burden will soon. With this. Our dream is made hard fact. Our crown shadow will extend to all of Europa. They made him blonde hair and blue eyed, I notice. Chapter 7 The Battle at Barius. Didn't we do one of those? <sighs> Just in case. I feel like I have so little to say during a lot of the story cutscenes, and like, I don't even know if I want to be talking over them. Whoa. I don't know what I expected, but it really wasn't this. Amazing. Like, if I was playing this for myself, I, I would be mashing through this as quick as I can read, and I can read pretty quick. It's... There aren't any windows or skylights in here, but it's still so light. The ruins are made of stone with a high ragnite concentration. Interesting. So ragnite can just be a, a, a function of stone. You can almost alloy it. Or maybe it's just a bunch of little crystals embedded in rocks. It's uncanny. Look at this. Something's written on the wall here. Also, the fact that I actually do have to hit the it's button to advance the, the words. And I can't just, Northern? like, let the cutscene play. It was the dominant writing system in Europa. You still see it on a lot of old monuments. I'm glad that Faldio came into the plot just when we Do needed him. you know how him. to read it, Faldio? Yeah, we just covered it this last year. He's a student, remember? Let's take a look. It's, more it's just Hillian. of the Darkson calamity as the history books tell it. Oh boy. The Darksons unlocked some secret property of Ragnite and tried to conquer the continent. A hundred cities raised its fell light. Ten hundred thousand men and beast therewith. Another mention of beast. It says this area used to be one of the cities. It would be lost very in interesting if like war beasts become a thing here. There were a few um, war horses used in World War One, but I think that was the last major conflict that they were used. Actually, I think the Mujahideen used them in the um, Soviet Afghanistan War, but I'd have to check that. Also, potentially the Gulf War. But in terms of, like, what you think of when you think of wars, because most Americans don't, like, think of the Soviet Mujah like Mujahideen War, um, a lot of people, like, found out that that was even a war from Metal Gear Solid V. They don't teach it in American schools a lot. Um, I think World War I is the most, like, so they thing where you would go. But it would be interesting if we got, like, all the normal guys, and then, like, tanks, and then also, like, horses and war elephants. I fucking love war elephants. It was in the middle of that destruction that the Valkyrie suddenly came into the picture. Okay, I know that the Lancer's lance looks like a lance on purpose, but like he's holding a lance. Supposedly they Is that like a thing? face the dark sense, armed with sacred lances, blue with flame. That became the War of the Valkyrie. Interesting. I had a picture book about that as a girl. But it's fiction, right? Like a fairy tale. Ruins like these dot the European map. Traces of the culture that once ruled the continent. I don't know of many deserts in Europe. The majority of the anthropological community now agrees that the Valkyrie did exist. Fascinating. Wow. This is so educational. Alkin's got his mouth open. He's like, wow, cool. The Valkyrie won <laughs> and rose to power, while the Darksons were scattered across Europa. There are some who worship the Valkyrie as the saviors of Europa, even today. There's no way they're not going to be like the secret villains here, right? Meanwhile, the Darksons got branded with a stigma of their past and were persecuted. With no land of their own, they had to work as itinerant laborers and ragnite miners. Which is why there are so many Darksons still working in the industrial sector today. 
I never knew that. Come to think of it, Isara's dad was an engineer, wasn't he? Anyway, that's enough history for today. We've had too Let's much fun, and we revealed too much right. of the plot. Let's get back to shooting at things. It'd be very interesting if we got a fight with Emperor Maximilian so early on. Darks and Calamity, Inside the Spell. So those are probably like, that's going to be the outside team. That's... I've been looking, yep, but I still ain't seen nothing but sand. Those imps got some strange tastes if they're sunning themselves out here. Largo has the same kind of skin tone and uh, beard style. Not exactly the same, but he has a very similar one to Roddy Yeager. So I wonder if they're both from the original country and they emigrated to the Empire and to Galia, respectively. What's got you, Rosie? Or did I Ain't like you those? to be so quiet? Largo lives in Galia, that I know. You're foul, Largo. And I'm yeah, that annoyed. is kind of gross. Takes some kind of brass to blow up a chunk of turf this big, don't you think? Like brass balls? Like bravery? Looks like the dark hairs have been bad news for the rest of us folks since day <sighs> one. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter that, like, there are no deserts that I know of in, in Northern Europe. Because the whole point is that the desert isn't naturally occurring. It was, you know, created by the Darksons, you know. Likely, it was just made through a Ragnite problem, but again, this is a thing of like, hey, that doesn't exist, and they just slapped the old Ragnite Band-Aid on it. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you think I mean? No archaeological proof exists to support the theory that Darkson's destroyed Barius. Look around. How much more proof do you need? And it's an unfair generalization to assume that all Darksons cause trouble for others. Imagine if microaggression was a skill in this game. You saying you don't? Look, it's cause of you people that I, that my whole- Oh, she has a reason to be racist. All right, time out, you two. <laughs> Man, we're in dire straits of Largo as you being the voice of, of reason. <laughs> We're on patrol here. You keep squawking, and we're likely to get sniped. It's got a good point. Not everyone has the huge super bee farmer that Largo has. You too, kid. You know Rosie's got a temper on her. She wouldn't go off if you didn't talk back. There's no easy answer for that. Because obviously, I don't think that she should just, you know, take the microaggressions and be like, yeah, whatever, you're racist to me. But also, like, it is something of a tenuous position. Obviously, this is Rosie's fault for being racist in the middle of a war, I've but... Said is untrue. It puts Isara in a really, really Stubborn difficult position. Both of you. And Largo just has to say, shut up, you know? Because, like, what's he going to do? Fix racism in the middle of the desert on the back of this tank? I suppose it's possible, but it isn't likely. I was really worried when I saw the, like, straight up and down, just, Fondio, like, fantasy racism. But it's being handled pretty smartly. It's called the Valkyrian Spiral. Do they write a chronicle okay, on it? so what is it? I was talking about their power before, remember? The sacred blue flame? The spiral motif on their relief carvings are said to represent inexhaustible power. Mm-hmm. Oh, Interesting that, that we're like secondary adopters of Ragnite, and everyone else is like still way more experienced with it. Here. That's kind of cool. Not even any signs of it. I guess it's, it's kind of reminding me of um, Halo, because like in Halo, the Forerunners are like the big thing, especially in the sequel trilogy. Well, especially in the fourth game i haven't played the other ones well but like there's this very way. understated and small part of the lore where like what's going on in halo right sure. now is that Let's humans go. are getting into space for the second time and they were actually in space already like a million years ago huh? what in the... oh god does she have the ancient secret Alicia, bloodline what... i don't know i barely even touched it and this door just opened I 
wonder if what's her name also has it. Servatus or whatever her name was. It looks like it's it the mind. An underground chamber in the Barius ruins. This is a huge discovery. Should we go in? Yeah. Do you have to ask? <laughs> My man. Uh, why aren't we playing Let's as take you? A look. Oh, I learned that Welkin does show up in the other games, but I think he's just like a DLC unit or something. So yeah, are these two like first contact? Oh man, that's super cool. And I can see that she's over in number 4A over there. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, this is exciting. What is this place? Cool little Ragnite lights. I assume. My skin looks so pink. It the purple light like is it goes exactly on pink. forever. I always love scenes whenever someone has like wow. a huge fuck Look off hit wall. and they just drop a flare down there to see how far Amazing. it goes. Amazing. There are engravings and then, like, everywhere. 30 seconds later what you hear say, the bottom. Folio? I'm not sure. I wish I could tell you they're too ancient for me to decipher. Get a lot of Tolkien over here. I was kind of wondering if uh, Alicia was going to hop back up in, in storyline stuff. We're not alone. Who's there? <laughs> hey, guys. Well, how surprising to find you here. We don't get many visitors. I won't ask how you were able to break in. It's not really important. But you defile this sanctum with your presence. This guy, dude, he's just, we're, we're uh, just going to walk by. That's Maximilian. Maximilian? Wait, but he's the enemy commander. Minor Hold details. it right there. You take one more step and I'll shoot you down. I swear I will. Uh, what, what the fuck? Lower your weapon. Your lives are worthless to me, but I do not wish to stain this sacred place with blood. Oh, man. <laughs> if you what are determined to have this confrontation, why don't we settle it outside? Welkin. Welkin? So, you're the brat who's responsible. My compliments for the vassal bridge and the base in Cloden. You quite impressed Jaeger. He was singing your praises, boy. That sounds like Jaeger. Silvaria. Come. Silvaria. Sir. What? The, are we getting into ancient World War II bloodline <laughs> techniques? Now's our chance to take out their commander. She's right, Valdio. Let's go. Uh, right. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Uh... <laughs> Does it do with Maximilian? Holy shit. I gotta keep playing. That's the end of this episode, though. Um, I'll cut it here. Actually, no, I'll start. I'll just see if I'm gonna... I'm just gonna... I, I gotta see. <laughs> Let me catch you up on the current situation. Yeah. For real. The enemy commander Maximilian is making for our base aboard a massive tank. All the things we've seen so far have been called small tanks. This is why. It is imperative you stop him before he reaches us. Destroy the giant tank. Machine guns on both sides, so brace yourselves for a merciless reception as you approach. Keep your distance and use your tank and lancers to take the machine guns out by one, one by one. Large caliber cannons at both fore and aft ends that can't be destroyed. Their range is as you see here. They will fire at everything. Oh, interesting. That stops in the range depicted. Keep your tanks and troop clear if you want them to live. Holy shit. Okay, I'll, I'll set myself up, but yeah, this is... <sighs> oh my god, dude. This game rocks. <laughs> 
Uh, this has been Valkyria Chronicles, everyone. I've been Alfred. Uh, you can all have a good day, then. Thank you. Thank you for coming by. Have a good day. I've been Alfred. Oh, my God. This is so hype. <laughs> uh, bye, everyone.